Hey everybody, this is Marshall. Welcome back to Rough Spirits Collections. So today, I'm actually going to be just kind of going through and uh, kind of just posting a video of the progress that I've been making with trying to come up with a new and more unique style of, 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 a, of an infused rum with hibiscus. Now, this is actually one of my favorite flavors to work through. I absolutely adore the taste of any anything that has a hibiscus component in it, whether that be a tea or any sort of cocktail or drinks. So I wanted to try to kind of practice this myself to figure out what it is that I wanted to do with it. Now, the purchase that I made on Amazon was to get a Mexican hibiscus flower, which is very, very umami-like in the smell, has a very earthy, very raw, very savory kind of smell right there at the very beginning. And then as you let that bag open up and as you let those aromas really come through, there's a very, very nice, sweet, absolutely you know, perfumey aroma to this that's very good. Now, the rum that I decided to use was something that was very generic and very basic. And I definitely wanted to stress that I had something that didn't have any overwhelming flavors. So that way I could really let the infusion of that hibiscus shine in this particular experiment that I'm doing. Now, to elaborate on what I've got going on here is I've actually taken two different uh, wine glasses here because they were the closest and easiest thing for me to grab. I currently was out of the rocks glasses that I would normally do something like this out of. But enough of the, the, the banter. The way I've decided to do this was actually to be able to take a, it was to take three flowers. There's actually three hibiscus flowers inside of this particular glass. Now, they have been double boiled. The reason why I wanted to do it twice is because I didn't feel like I really got the the all the oils and the color and the richness, the full fragrant, flavorful aspect of what makes hibiscus the 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 flower and and the the flavor that it is. So I actually had decided during my first time boiling these out and really getting these going to make a nice hibiscus lemonade. And both me and my wife really did enjoy that one. If you ever get a chance to make some at home, and I do highly recommend it. It's pretty good. So. Uh, I ended up taking these and boiling them a second time. Now, one of the, the one of the things that actually came out of that is I made a one to one white granulated sugar simple syrup with that hibiscus color. Now you can see this is a very nice dark red color. I've got a couple of cocktails that I'm going to start working on here, trying to see if this thing mixes well more with a rum and into like a tiki style, or if this is definitely going to be a good bourbon cocktail style of simple syrup. I do like an old fashioned that will literally be the very first thing that I make a little later on today. So I've got a lot more content on that coming out later on. If you're interested in that, give me a follow and then, then I can try to explain together exactly what I'm going to try to do. Walk it through step by step. But for this one right here, what I really want to be able to put together and really want to be able to kind of show everybody is the the as much as possible, the the amount of flavor that you can really pull out of one of these flowers. If you were to steep this and really start letting those those flowers rehydrate and then then really kind of come into its own versus just throwing some regular flowers, which you can kind of tell in this glass here, you can actually see right through it. You can see the flowers at the bottom. These really haven't hydrated a whole lot. They haven't had a whole lot of color taken out of them so far. So we're going to get to see right here real quick exactly how both of those are going to go. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try the, the dry flower inside of the rum. This is the Coral Reef Caribbean Silver Rum. I picked this up from Total Wine and More. I think it was like maybe $9.99 or $10.99 for a, a 750 ml bottle. We're not talking anything special, but I think this will definitely be able to give me a good baseline on how the flavors and aromas inside of these flowers have really been able to come in. Now, I do want to preference this. There are some, some things that have been put out on not necessarily medical journals, but on websites that say that you should not over consume anything with hibiscus in it. I, I don't know of how, how legitimate this is. I'm not somebody who has gone through a culinary background to know... Um, kind of if how, how best to use these inside or what your consumption rate should be. But just like with everything, including the alcohol consumption, take it with a stride. Don't go any, don't jump in headfirst in, 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 into any one particular thing. Take your time, enjoy it, experiment with it all you want, but just be sensible on overall consumption. With that being said, I'm going to take a little sip out of this and just see how this tastes. Wow. Okay, that's actually pretty good. There's definitely the characteristic of the Caribbean rum, the same way it was yesterday when I did my other review for it. 
but there is a a very light aroma that comes out from these hibiscus flowers it's definitely noticeable in there there is a there's that similar umami like characteristic when you first crack open this bag that sits in there very well i think that overall just a generic soak inside of the rum was enough to really amplify and make this a lot sweeter and a lot more well-rounded but now the one i'm actually interested in is this one the one that i actually have boiled this very dark almost you know, dark red wine looking flavor, a uh, uh, color, sorry. I'm going to give this one here a try. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, that is wonderful. Wow. Oh, that hits you like a, like a, like a potpourri basket, like a, just this very super florally aromatic style of, of flavor. The rum is definitely still playing very well in this. I think that this is probably, in my opinion, the best way to do this. Really let those, really, really get those into a, get these flowers into a rolling boil and really get them going. And then whenever you mix that in with this rum, I mean, it does make a very, very pleasant sensation. This is, there's almost a twinge on the back of the jaw. Total palate takeover. I think this is going to make a very cool and very interesting cocktail when I do finally manage to get this exact same level of, of flour. Now, keep in mind, there are no flours in my syrup. This is just all strained out through a cheese grater or through a cheesecloth, sorry. So I think this is going to be very cool, very interesting mixture. I'm going to mix this with some different, you know, lemons and limes and all kinds of stuff. And I think, honestly, I might go strain this out. And then put this into a jar and just kind of have this as my sample number one because I'm going to be doing different variations of infusion with rum because I'm going to try to make some sort of hibiscus rum liqueur that is shelf stable, hopefully for a good amount of time. I think this is a very good start to a process here. And like I said, I've got other stuff coming. I'm going to be doing this with a blood orange. I'm going to be doing this with a, a variation of, of two different varieties of lemons. I think I'm going to try to make a couple of pretty interesting little cores. I've got a whole set of, of, of bottles coming in, and if this takes off pretty well, maybe I'll start doing a little cocktail series with some of these more homemade off-key styles just to kind of give everybody a, a, a feel for, for how some of these more um, interesting homemade and kind of off-brand style of liqueurs and syrups. I know that hibiscus syrup is a commercially available. I think Limber & Co. makes one. I've not personally had it, but I'm definitely going to try to see if I can get one. Maybe I'll order one on Amazon and then be able to get it here and try to see if it's something anywhere close to this one here. Now, I did try a little bit of this one here, and man, is it good. I would say it's probably a little bit better than this one here as far as just your overall sweetness and, and, and back palate feel. But I'm going to tell you right now, with as floral and as pleasant as this is, partnered with even a very kind of rudimentary simple rum, I think this is definitely going to be a good hitter. If y'all want to see more, give me a follow, give me a share. Anything that you can do will always help me out. Hope your next sip is better than your last. Cheers, everybody.